we feel the solution to hazing is abolishing the pledge process. I truly believe that if the pledging process was not in existence, that my son would still be here. My son didn't die from the hazing ritual that was that night. He died when he started the process of the pledging, which was the grooming process. We want the pledge process removed so no one has to lose their young son or daughter again just by joining a Greek organization. I want to bring Gregory Parks into the conversation. He is a nationally known expert on the psychology of hazing, a former fraternity brother himself, and a professor at Wake Forest University. Uh, he also testified for the prosecution in Stone's trial. Uh, Gregory, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Look, everybody is looking at this and, and scratching their head about how this could happen over and over and over. Help us understand this. I would categorize four motivations for seeking membership in, for example, a fraternity or sorority, and also sticking with the process when it goes bad. One is just lack of knowledge, not knowing what a true definition of hazing is, uh, assuming, uh, ha having assumptions about the utility of hazing, for example, bonding and tradition, misperceptions about what other uh, candidates or new members are willing to tolerate, and not knowing the true risks. The second thing I'd say is there are individuals who are seeking legitimacy through belonging in an organization. They desire to be accepted by peers. They have a need for self-esteem and achievement. Uh, and the hierarchical dynamics that are at play when an individual decides to let or not let you be a part of their organization can, cre can create some strange dynamics. Third, there are individuals who are seeking to be a part of a legacy, whether that be a grandfather, a father, an uncle, a close, a close family member who's a member of an organization. And then there are individuals who feel like things may be going bad, but I've already invested a lot of time, energy, money in this, uh, and, and, and trying to be a part of this organization. Let me invest just a little bit more in hopes that things will turn out right. You know, this kind of gets into cognitive dissonance, right? Cognitive dissonance just describes a situation where it's, it's the state of having inconsistent thoughts, beliefs, or attitudes, especially as relating to a, a behavioral decision or attitude change. It's like in, in the fraternity situation, it's like you've convinced yourself to resolve that discomfort of, this is something I would never do. I, this isn't me, but this is a great organization, so it's worth it. I think the thing I would add is that it's not always conscious. A young man, a young woman isn't always walking through and explaining this to themselves. Sometimes it can be quite subconscious. And when you're in the moment, uh, that pressure can be really strong. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.